Hello students and welcome to another science online class. So welcome to the second quarter and at this point we will discuss now biology. So first lesson in biology is coordinated functions of the human organ systems, specifically nervous, endocrine, and reproductive system. Okay, so first let's have a game. So this game is called Odd One Out. Okay, so choose the organ that does not belong to the group and give the reason why it is not included. Okay? Okay. So, first set. We have heart, brain, and nerve. So what do you think is the organ which is not belong to the group? So, the answer is heart. Because heart is belong to the circulatory system. Now let's go to set number two. So we have thyroid gland, skull, and kidneys. So which organ is not belong to the group? We have skull. Why? Because it is belong to the skeletal system. Let's go to set number three. We have the lungs fallopian tube, and the female reproductive system as a whole. So which organ is not belong to the group? Yes, lungs. Because it is part of repro uh, respiratory system. Set number four, we have the testes, the male reproductive system as a whole, and liver. So which is not belong to the group? We have liver because it is part of the digestive system. Now, think about this. How does our body keep us safe and under control? So before we answer that question, let's discuss the important terminologies under biology or coordinated functions, specifically the nervous system, endocrine, and the reproductive system. First, we have anatomy. You see, anatomy, it is a structure of the entire organism and their parts. So, the organism and the individual organs. Yun yung saklaw ng anatomy. Second is morphology. When say morphology, this is the form of an organism and its structure. We are talking about shapes, yung itsura ng organ. And physiology function of the parts of an organism. So, we are dealing with the function, yung silbi ng organ sa ating katawan. First, we have anatomy, morphology, and physiology. Now, when you say nervous system, it is the network of nerve cells and fibers that transmit nerve impulses between parts of the body. So, kung nagtataka kayo, basa na nervous system ng tao, ito yung brain, spinal cord, at yung nerves na nakapalibot sa ating katawan. Endocrine system is the collection of plants that secretes hormones which helps regulating body processes. So, yung testes ng mga lalaki, ovary ng mga babae, pituitary gland na nasa ilalim ng utak ay isa or kasama sa endocrine system ng tao. And lastly is the reproductive systems na kung saan we have male and female reproductive system, no? magkaiba. So this is responsible for the production of sex cells and perpetuation of life. Kaya maraming tao sa mundo. At maraming uri ng mga organisms because of perpetuation of life. Now, so let's discuss the nervous system. So when you say nervous system, the main function of this organ system is communication. Communication system that controls and coordinates functions throughout the body and responds to internal and external stimuli. So our body response depende kung ano ang external stimuli or yung loob, yung internal stimuli na meron. So, important function of nervous system is the sensory, integration, and motor. For the second video, we will discuss further these three functions of nervous system. 